Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, creating natural animation. Now something we take for granted in our life every single day is the fact that we don't live in a linear world. Linear meaning that if I get in my car and step on the gas, doesn't matter how good of a car it is, it doesn't instantly go to 60 miles an hour. It slowly gets to 60 miles an hour. And when you put the brakes on, it slowly stops. That kind of ease in, ease out natural organic movement is what the world is filled with. And in computers, the default setting for most animations are linear. That means something starts at zero and instantly goes to 100 does not look natural. You don't have to know anything about animation to understand that there is a feeling you get when you watch this, when you have uh, th this portrayed to someone, when you play it back and they're sitting there, it will give you a different feel. And it's incredibly easy to do. You can do this in any Adobe application that has keyframes, um, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show it to you in Premiere Pro. So let's have a look here at linear animation. So I'm selecting one of these images and in the effects controls I've added keyframes simply by clicking on the uh, stopwatch, adding a keyframe and making a change. So between this keyframe those settings there of scale and position change from there to there. And the animation happens when it goes in between those two. And you can see that when it reaches that point it just snaps to that position. Bang! And that is an unnatural kind of movement. Bang. Just does not look good. And it's even magnified when it's a larger full screen animation. Just, it just snaps right into there. Yikes. Now, what you can do on a keyframe is right click on the keyframe or multiple keyframes and choose ease in, ease out. You can also choose these other ones, but you know what? I'm just gonna concentrate on ease in, ease out. Now let's look at the same animations with ease out and ease in keyframes. Look at that, smoothly moves into that one. Ease out and ease in. There's just like a level of padding there to just move us in ever so gracefully and make this look natural. That's what I mean by creating natural animations. This is what we expect. All right. And I've also taken both of these and I put them into two comps. So let's look at them side by side. Bang. That left one just snaps into position. Does not look natural at all. few fast ones in here so even the fast ones will be tempered there when we get to that point boom just like that all right now the cool thing about doing this is let's say that that you have hundreds of photographs and, and and here I'm using still images but the exact same thing applies for type for video for any time you're adding a keyframe change but let's imagine that you've got you know a few hundred of these images and you're trying to create these dynamic uh, uh, animations over and over again well here's the cool thing we can go over here to any one of these rotation um, scale position and you notice when I select uh, motion it becomes selected if I right click in here I can save this as a preset so this particular one uh, I believe I'm pulling oh I'm yes I'm pulling out and I'm doing that from well 139 to 99 so let's say that this is a uh, quick math that's a that's a 40 percent pull out and I could save this preset 40 percent whoop 40 percent out and you can save this type as scale anchor in or anchor out um, the difference being that let's say that this was a five second animation between keyframes and the next image or video I used was two seconds long if you have scale it will do the same animation but it will scale it down. If you uh, 
if you lock it to the, the beginning of the clip, then it will be the same length and the animation will start at the beginning. Or if you lock it to the end of the clip, it's going to lock it in there and then it will start where that point is. So if it's a two second animation on a five second clip, it'll fit the five second animation on a two second clip. You won't even see the rest of the animation. All right, bottom line is I could save those in my effects, in my presets, and I could drag that 40% out onto all of those clips and get going. So let's actually make another animation here. Uh, here we've got you know, a typical kind of move where I'm, I'm going from Obama's face to his hand and it just snaps in place. I've duplicated that same animation here and I'm just going to select the right to right click temporal or time ease in. And now let's look at the difference. First one. Bang snaps in second one. Very smooth. All right, so very important. It only takes a moment uh, to add those uh, different types of interpolation, those different kinds of keyframes, the way it moves in. Um, and if you've got lots of them, like I said, save presets. All right, I hope you found this informative. If you did, then click on the subscribe link for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30 day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.